Okay. Now, just for example, now integrating 1 over x minus 1 dx, you saw immediately you're going to use u equal x minus 1. Well, the way I've been writing this out, and for completeness I'll write it out this way, although you kind of skipped a step here, and that's fine because you skipped it correctly, du dx equals 1, right? So du and dx are the same, so that I can replace dx by du, and I can replace x minus 1 by u. Okay, so this is going to be then the integral of 1 over u du which is a natural log of the absolute value of u, right? That absolute value is important, okay? So you want to always include it. Um, and that equals, of course, and of course this would be plus a constant, just to be complete, because that constant is also important. Uh, so this is a natural log of the absolute value of x minus 1, plus a constant, right? Okay? Well, now that we see how to integrate that, we see that we're going to get something almost identical here. So that what we have is going to be 3 times the natural log of the absolute value of x minus 1 minus the natural log of the absolute value of x. And each of these is going to have a constant, and the constants are not to be assumed to be the same. You know, this integral will have a constant. This integral will have a constant. There's no reason to assume they're the same. Well, if you subtract this constant from this one, you're still going to get a constant. We say one constant absorbs the other. Okay? So we just have to write one constant for C. Not necessarily the same as this C, but since this C could be anything at all, well, this C can be anything at all. Okay? So, now we've integrated this thing. It wasn't too bad. Okay? Now we want to simplify this expression. Okay? So we get... Should it be with the natural log of x plus 1 plus c at the end? Yeah, I did write the plus 1, did I? Thank you. You got this. Okay, this simplifies. Of course, I mean, if you don't remember them, you might need to review the laws of combining logs, okay? The log of something minus the log of something else is the log of this divided by that, okay? A times the log of something is the log of that something raised to the A power. Um, your, your basic laws of logs. And, and we're not going to take time here to talk about that, but you, you certainly covered that when you covered logarithms. Okay? So you need to review it. Um, I don't worry about it too much before the test. Yeah, well, I'll give it away. There's probably nothing that requires you to simplify. I, I don't know. I don't guarantee that there isn't. I don't remember putting anything of that nature on there, but I might have. You know, with different versions and stuff. Okay? Um, but you're going to need to know it here. And you're going to need then to be able to apply this to the logistic model. Um, okay.